This is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network. Talk like you've never heard it before. picture there we now wait a minute now wait a minute i i push the button and it doesn't there we go okay nothing works ever it just keeps falling apart more and more that i do it anyway uh hey hello there everybody how you doing um uh, it is a uh, friday night and it is uh, the ramble and it goes until midnight eastern time so wherever you are in this world just figure out you know what time it is where you are in relationship to what time it is where I am and if you they coordinate you're live and if they don't coordinate you're not live well look who's here uh let's see here were you here again last week I was here last you week. you were last week yeah so quickly they forget no it isn't so quickly they forget I it's just you were sick for so long that we didn't have you on for a couple of weeks and I just wondered if I was going to say to people this is the first time that uh, that you've you know been on so mm. whatever yeah so anyway so how are you fine I just pushed the wrong button I put the dissolve button on what what are you giving me that look for what you, look you giving me you giving me that look I wasn't giving it to you I was giving it to out there oh you, oh you but you were saying something to them. And your point is? My point is, what were you saying to them? Well, it was private. It was just between you and the audience? Right. And I don't get to un know what it is? Exactly. No. Okay. Well, anyway. So, uh, boy, I, uh, you see, I've been disturbed because... Just recently? Oh, thank you for being so nice. I'm just stating a fact. Anyway. Everybody says this is their favorite time of the week for the show, and I can't for the life of me understand why. I totally agree with you on that. You know, it doesn't make any sense to me. But anyway. Um, Just counting the time. What? If you want to leave now, I, you can I do it. I say if, that. If you, if you want I, to leave I now, you can go. I make a commitment. I stand up to my commitments. Anyway, I've just been upset. Because here's what happened. This and I, we, I got suckered again. This happened. Remember a couple of years ago. This I happened? did it. Don't you remember? I did it once with my friend's son's company. Yes. Yeah. But wait a minute. Let me let, let, let's explain what happened. A couple of years ago, some people came to our door and they said, "Would you like to save uh, on your electricity?" And I said, "How much?" And they go, "Oh, we can save a lot." Blah 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 blah. And they show me their little badges and everything like that, right? Con Edison papers. No, not Con Edison she papers. She had Con Edison papers with her. Yeah, but look at what it says on her card. It says, not a... Con Edison. <laughs> not, not an employee of a utility company. Anyway, so I figured it to be a phony, and I threw them out. And then they, they, uh, another bunch came to the door, and I said... Fuck you, get out of here. You don't bother us. This is a phony, right? Uh, and at which point they got nasty and vile with me. So I called their company and told them, and they said, oh, that's horrible that that even happened. Well, now then you had a friend, was it? Friend who was talking to people about getting their electricity cheap, and I bought into it. And, and so we signed up for yeah. it. Yeah. Or was it Gary that no, had a friend? No, Gary told us to get out of it. Gary and you told us to get out of it. So uh, we had to get out of it. Yeah, which we did, which we it. did. So now today we get a very nice woman comes to the door. And I'm so gullible. And I no, offer her, no. I gave her a Snapple. Yeah. I showed her the apartment. Yeah. <laughs> and the fact was that she um, was very, uh, she told us that we could get our electricity basically. For From $400 right. to 80 to 80 or 200 usually 250 to a the flat week. 80 plus tax plus tax and i'm going okay well you know and i i questioned her i said that's it she says yeah that's it you know 
uh, you're obligated to three years. If you try to get out of the three years, you have to pay $2.50 a month uh, for the unused months. Well, you know, that's only 100 bucks if I quit the first day, you know. So, uh, uh, I'm, yeah, sure. And so I, sign, I even sign the thing, right? And then she says, now we have to call someplace. So for that, confirmation, for second com confirmation. For a second confirmation. If you don't do that, they can't do it. Right? Am I right about that? Was that what it was? Sounds right. So, so I'm on the phone and the person starts going with this $2.50 if you cancel and blah, blah, blah. But you can cancel at any time. You can, and if you cancel within the next three days, blah, 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 blah. And I went, uh, nah, I'm not interested. Okay, so I, I hang up. Now she tells me that person doesn't know what they're talking about. They're you know. in Canada. You want me to have them call you again? I said, yeah, okay, have them call me again. And they start saying, okay, so have you seen this page? And I, yeah, I see it. And they start on that page and that page. And finally, you get back to that $2.50 thing, which isn't much. If I get ripped off, I get ripped off for, you know, 100 bucks. But the person is not sufficiently telling me what it is. Why, if I... You know, if I quit, do I have to pay for the months I don't use, or am I just having to pay two fifty for the month I didn't use before I quit? And the person couldn't tell me straight, so I think I I did say to him, "No, I don't want it." It was right? a woman this time. Yeah, and I said what I said. Said I, no. I said no, and I hung up. And now this woman, you notice her attitude changed. Yeah. She got kind of nasty and. And I said, I, I don't think I'm going to do it. So they, she actually left the paperwork here, right? Mm -hmm. With all my information yeah, on yeah, it yeah, and yeah, my yeah. signature. Mm -hmm. But uh, she didn't take a copy with her, did no. she? No. This stuff goes on all the time now. And uh, they especially hit neighborhoods. You know, like, they hit people, older people. Yeah, but older people. Older people are more well, because you want to save money when yeah. you're older, you know? You're, you're on a fixed income, and you don't want to spend the money. So they, uh, they, they hit up people like this. Now, granted, um, you know, I'll find out when I get my next electric bill whether they somehow snockered me in one way or another, and then I'll quit it. My question is, how the hell do they get the 250 a month? Because they can't get it through, the, the, through Con Ed, although Con Ed would charge me for the power. Gonna, anyway, go ahead. They're not going to do the collection. How are they going to do it? You know, it's um, what they're going to sue me for a hundred bucks. You know, it's ridiculous. So um, I have to keep an eye out now to make sure our electric bill doesn't go higher. But then again, well, this is a good time of year to tell because it's probably at its lowest during the winter mm -hmm. because uh, uh, our heat is done by radiators. Well, not really. That's anyway, the other problem anyway, we have. Anyway, go ahead. Uh, it's like they're trying to freeze us out in this Alex, apartment. Alex, stay on the topic. Well, I'm just saying. So we'll see if the electricity goes up. I'll tell Gary to watch out for it. Um, you know, but I, what I what bothers me and what depresses me the most is that we got suckered by it. I did. Huh? I was totally taken in on it. Yeah, uh, and because she seemed different than the other people. Yeah. You know. Nice. But anytime anybody comes to your door wearing a tag around their neck and says, I'm here and I, we're working with kind of. their, your electric company, just don't, don't, don't fall for it. You know, it'd be nice if, uh, if Con Ed did something about it, but they can't, what? Heat, air. No, I don't want air in here. It's freezing in here. Uh, it's freezing. That's all right. Don't put it on. Um, so I mean, it, it, so I, um, you know, I just think I, I, I don't know. The government isn't doing anything about these people, and somehow they're allowed to do it because the electric company is forced to have to, if you ask them to, to buy the power from somebody they're else. They're forced to give you options. Yeah. Um, so these these scams are options, and so it, those scams then exist. Why don't doesn't the government jump in the, the the you know the state government and do something about this? But they don't, and that's uh, that's uh, kind of shitty, you know. And I just felt like such a sucker, and I I did yeah yeah. So anyway, so you you think we're safe, right? Yes. How many times do we have yeah. to talk about? But it? she wanted you know she was on how. how Kind of her whole attitude changed when well, she, she left. Well, she knew she knew it wasn't a sale. 
It just didn't. It, it, it just smelled. It smelled. You know what it smelled like? It smelled like the last thing that happened. Well, the thing is, yeah. You know, if your gut is telling you something, which your gut was, yeah. mine didn't even listen. In the beginning, it didn't because she came in and and she was so nice and she was so accommodating. Uh, her name was Tiffany. I mean, how can you hate somebody named Tiffany? And. Uh, uh, but then when she started telling me, don't listen to that person. They don't know what they're talking about. Just agree to everything. I'll tell you later what they did. She wanted to, that's it. She couldn't make the sale. Till she wanted all, to close the deal. She couldn't close the deal till I agreed. And they, we didn't get to the last question, which is then, do you agree? They supposedly were recording the conversation is what they said. So I don't know. I just hope we didn't do something wrong. That's all. And, uh, you know, it, it's just, uh, I, I'm, it, it, that kind of stuff really gets to me. I know, it doesn't get to you, right? No, I can understand it. I fell for it. Yeah. I yeah. just don't get the press the way you do. Well, I guess, I, 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 I thought I turned this on earlier. Oh. There we go. Now, now we're fit. We, we weren't on the air before, folks. Now we're on the air. Are you serious? Yeah, we are on the air, of course. Yes, I checked for it everywhere. Actually, the video, uh, by the way, let me tell you, the video has been going out pretty well um, uh, um, here uh, because I, I tuned the whole thing up and now it looks like it's going out without a glitch. Uh, and uh, it, it, it played well last night and it's playing well tonight and I hope you're, you're all enjoying it. Um, so uh, anyway, so how's work? I was off today and I'm off on Monday, so it's a four day weekend. Yeah, you don't work ever, do you? You just take a paycheck and- uh, I work. Yeah. I haven't taken vacations in like six yeah. years. What she does, she takes a lot of vacation days on, on Friday. Friday. So, you know, I figured you get 20 days a year. I think you get four, four we get, weeks, We get right? three weeks. Three weeks? Yeah, so it's 21 15? days. Yeah, yeah, it's 21 days. So it's 21 weeks if you wanted to do that every week. Exactly. Yeah. And then you have sick days. Which I took in December. So that's about, what, five days? I have no days, idea. Something like that. Yeah. It's as much as you need. So They, really, they don't count really in my she office. she never has to go to work ever again on Fridays. Well, I have to. I mean, I have to make it. I have to close the deal, which I haven't been able to in two years. We've been wanting to ask them if you could just do it four days a week. Two and, years I've been on, saying this. And on Friday you will do your job from home. Yeah. Yeah, which you can do from here. Yeah. You know, the only thing you can't do, you answer the phones there too? I answer our phone. I don't answer down the down but the. That other. somebody else does that? Well, they have their own phone. Everybody has their own phone. It goes directly to their desk. Oh, I see. Okay. I don't have so, to answer for anybody. So when you're not there, how do the people who... The phones go directly to people. No, but I mean, your phone. It goes, it you goes say, to my voicemail. Uh, oh, it goes to your voicemail? And For is, me. And what about the other people in the office? They have their own voicemail. No, I mean the people who... There are two separate companies right. in this office. Everybody has their own phone, yeah. whichever company. Oh. The phone goes directly to them. Okay, if so, a phone call comes in for them on my phone, I just transfer it. Okay, but they can call that phone directly. They, if they have the direct to. phones oh, and the okay. direct voicemails. All right, so they don't really need you to answer the no, phone. No, not at all. Oh, okay, that's what I was asking. Yeah, once in a while, I get mostly the telemarketers, real estate people, vendors, you know. Yeah. And a lot of hang, a lot of those. Yeah. Empty. So basically, all you have to do is the work that has to be done, and a lot of that can be done from home. Well, I would say a good seventy percent can be done from home. Yeah. So there's no reason why you can't say, hey, I want to, you know what? You don't say, I don't want to work Friday. You say, on Fridays, I'd like to work from home. I have to just do it. No, no, say, yeah. I, say I'd like to work from home. That's the way to put it. Yeah. Then, then you're not saying, I want to work four days a week. You want to work five days a week, but you want to, you know, do the work you need to do at home on, and you could do all of it from here. Mm -hmm. I mean, when I was sick, I did a lot of work from here. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, yeah, so 70% of your job could be done from home. Yeah. You could be a telecommuter. Well, there's a lot of stuff I have to do and, and mail or package out and, you know, stuff that I have to be in person. But most of the stuff, most of my stuff is problem solving, is writing. Yeah. And Fridays is a, is a fa kind of a fallow day of sorts. Depends. You know, it's... 
it's a business day, but it's not a big business day. You wouldn't want to take a Wednesday off. You wouldn't want to take a Tuesday off. No. But, you know, Fridays are pretty good. So, anyway. That's the best way to do it. Just tell them you want to work from home one day a week. And they'll probably say, sure, why yeah. not? I'm, wait till we get everything else resolved. You, uh, yeah. What's that? Well, what do you mean? Eyes are what do you mean else resolved? Well, the health insurance stuff like that. Oh yeah, yeah. We're uh, we're thinking of going with my union for our health insurance. Looks good. Huh? Looks good. It looks good. It's just a matter of I want to be able to do it seamlessly. We can just do it many months in advance. Yeah. Well. Yeah. Yeah. yeah you have to, but you have to get a thing from. Well, uh, yeah. I, we'll work it out. It's all workable. I think it's time for me to move over. Nope. Nope. Look at the time. It's not time yet. Oh, just feels like it. Ever since I got this big screen, I don't need to wear glasses while I'm doing the show. And you got it, the clock up there. Yeah, because everything's big. Because I, I didn't, it's still the same amount of real estate on here. It's just bigger. Uh, and I, I guess that's that's good. I, I would love it to have nothing. But these screens were like 179 bucks. I would love to have one for every machine in the house. Because it's cool, isn't it? It's okay. Huh? It's okay. What do you mean it's okay? It's fine. You, you yeah. like big it screens. It solves your needs. So I got that new TV set in the in what has now slowly become my room. Because uh, it, 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 although if you wanted to watch tennis or anything else in there, that that set's wonderful now. You know that's a great set. Uh, 55 inch, uh, 4K um, HDR. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, I get a, a great picture. Well, we're not arguing, and so we got a lot of people, but we're not. If we argued, there's a little more, we'd probably get more people. So, wh what are you pissed at me about? I'm not up for arguing. What are you, what are you pissed at me about? I don't even want about? to talk about it. What are you it? pissed at me about? <laughs> Come on, what are you pissed at I'm, me about? I don't even want to go into it. Really? Yeah. Well, it's just, I got mad when you told me, you didn't put the drops hey, in your eye. Hey, I'm not giving them to you anymore. You yeah. want to get well, your own prescription. Oh, really? I, yeah. want, I need those. Well, you, don't, you know, don't give me I, shit. It went in my eye. Well, you have two eyes. You didn't do the other one. Well, it went in, I don't need it for this eye. You it's need it for eye, both. It's bad. But the, this eye, if, uh, you're saying, she's saying to me, you're not dropping the drops in your eye. Yes, I was. I okay, could feel whatever. them in my eye. Okay, fine. So you're not going to give me any more? No, I'll put it there and you do it whatever you want with it. I don't See, care. Explain these drops. No, no I don't no, want to no. explain it. You yeah. explain it. What do I have you here for? I'm trying to I get have you no to do idea. Numbers just went up. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, what I'm saying is, is that these drops are... It's um, for dry eyes. She, it, 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 is it for dry eyes? It's that, for dry eyes. And dry eyes make your eyes tear. Yeah, when your eyes tear a lot, it's, it's dry eyes. It's because you have dry eye and you, I can't have dry eyes. And eye. this medicine, you take twice a day, they come in little vials. But there's so much in each vial that I called the pharmaceutical company because I didn't know you're supposed to take it twice a day in each eye. I thought maybe that was enough for morning and night. She said, no, a lot of people miss their eyes when they take the medicine. Old, so old they, people miss their eyes. Yeah, well, well, sometimes that makes you, sense. Sometimes so they put do. extra in Don't it. Don't you miss your eyes sometimes? Yeah, yeah, so they put extra in so it. So they put extra in there, and there's enough for both of us. Yeah. So she leaves me what she doesn't use. Not only that, I got a year's coupon yeah. where it only costs me like $20 you know, copay. Yeah. So for a year, I don't know if, what happens after a year. Do you take these for the rest of your life? After a year, it goes up to hundred dollars or something. I don't, well, what I don't, well, what, 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 so, so it really, for old people, they put twice as much in there as you're ever going to need. Because old people miss so their she eyes. She does her eyes, and my eyes were burning a lot. How are they now? And they're fine. This this eye was really bad. This is old people talk. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Then we have a friend who's in the hospital. I'm yeah. Sure, I'm, that's kind of got me, too. Yeah. So. She said that the medicine is kicking in and he's lively. Really? Yeah. I said, send well, him our best. Well, then why is he in the hospital? Well, because he's got pneumonia, too. Oh. <laughs> Everybody I talk to it's sick. is sick. Last night, uh, the Connections people who go on at 1 o'clock in the morning, they didn't post their show. And I wrote her and I They're said, going well, at 12. What? 
No, they go on at one here. Oh, 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 oh. It's it. Yeah, they, yeah, they yeah. They do the show at ten at night. But yeah. It, we they we play it here at one, and uh, I wrote her and I said, "How come no show last night?" And she says, "Everybody's sick." They ran a rerun uh, because everybody is sick. Well, it's going around, you know, and um, that that's that's the problem. Uh, everybody's sick. Uh, last week, Snyder was sick and he couldn't do his movie reviews, which was fine with me, because <laughs> then I didn't have to ruin my Fridays. Uh, and uh, everybody around the country that I talked to is really sick. People at your office. One of the people came down with pneumonia. Right. Mm -hmm. So when you've got a guy who's uh, what? How old is he? Seven? Eighty-six. Jack. Yeah. 80, Eighty-seven. Eighty-seven. And you know he gets That's serious. It, it's serious. It's it was serious for you. Yeah. Uh, and but you didn't have the flu. No, I had a very bad cold that turned into an infection. Yeah. Yeah, but you didn't get the flu. No, I didn't have a fever. And I managed to avoid it. Yeah, which is amazing. It could have been I got a touch of it. That's what could have happened, and that I, you know, because I was feeling kind of, uh, for a couple of days, but I wasn't coughing or anything, and I may have just become immune to it. Could be. You know, but if you went out and you got yourself this... Uh, I'll uh, tell you something. I'm still very weak. I went to the gym, and certain weights that I always use, mm -hmm. I had to use lighter weights. Yeah. I just don't have the strength, and I had to stop and... and when in the class, I had to stop a couple times just to just rest my yeah. body. Start arguing a little more because the numbers have gone down by two people, three people. Uh, they were they're really high. For Fuck tonight. you, Alex. Fuck you. <laughs> How's that? Come on, more people, more people. <laughs> Enough. By the way, if you like us arguing, send some smiley faces across the screen. I don't like to argue, so um, and I've got three minutes left. Oh, you're counting every minute of every this is minute. Sheer torture. For sheer you. torture. She doesn't like doing this. It forces me. You know, we always have the same discussion about this. I said, "You're going to do the show." She says, "Have your people talked to my people?" He says, "No." I said, "Well, I'm not coming." And so then I say, well, uh, I'll have my people call your people, and you can come on. And they resolve it. Yeah. So tomorrow we're moving the big TV set in back of me, and we're putting the old TV set in there, like, better than this one. This is the oldest set we got. And No, it's not. The oldest set no. is mine. Well, the, the oldest set room. is yours. I don't even want to think about it. Well, I'm going to get it off the no, wall. Here, look at all the smiley faces. They love, oh, they love us arguing. Look no, at that. Oh, Jesus Christ. It's, it's a plethora of smiley faces going across the screen. 1028. See, can I, I roll catch over? some of them. Can I roll what? over? Huh? Can no, I roll not over? Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. It's not ready yet. Not, it's getting there. Not the time yet. It's getting there. Yeah, it's it's getting there. But okay. anyway, just, yeah, yeah, no, uh, 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 she, uh, stay there. Stay there. <laughs> stay there. I, I actually wish it, 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 it's it's you yeah you can come into this screen a little bit by by just putting your hand in there. See there there you see uh, there. The reason I do this split screen is so you can see both of us at the same time, which is a horrid a hand. horrid thing. Well, anyway, you can you can start sliding over here. Ten twenty nine. Huh? Ten twenty nine. What do you mean ten twenty nine? That's the time. Okay, well, let me put the panel here. Let me get this ready. Call in, going. please. I want to go to sleep. You, well, you want to go to sleep? Oh, by the way, Phil is not calling tonight, it's and neither Phil free night. Well, wait a minute. Neither is uh, is uh, is Patrick. Patrick. Because he's got something to do. Uh, and so maybe we won't even get any callers. Maybe yeah, I'll just be sitting here. Somebody has to call because I have to go to sleep. Well, let me open up the GabNet Skype lines so people can see. We do a thing called the Citizen Panel. If you don't know how to call using Skype or how to call this program, just go to GabNet.net, GabNet.net. That's GabNet.net. And over on the right-hand side of the page is like a whole tutorial. It's very simple on how to get Skype, how to... Uh, Get, get it ready for us. See, all the smiley faces, look, they're going crazy. Here, catch some of them. Catch some of them, yeah. Um, uh, uh, no, now they've stopped doing it, so when I start doing the catch thing, it'll be too late. See, see, see? Oh, damn it. Uh, anyway, 
now, turn we, on we've the lost show. a lot. We've lost quite a few people now. Now we've gone up a person. All right, turn on the show. What? <laughs> I, I, I'm, uh, yeah, there we go. See? Yeah. There are more smiley faces and things like that. Call uh, in. Yeah. Anyway. Uh, are you set for call in? What? I, I'm, I'm ready. Oh, did, uh, yes, I'm opened up and everything. Everything's ready to go. I bet, no. Where's I'm at the first. Jeff Stein? Where's Brian? Where's. Well, Brian has not no. called in quite a while. Oh, I think Brian finally got sick of our show or something uh, like that. Hey, yeah. Jeff. Hey there, Hello there, Jeff. How are you? Happy Friday. I'm good. Yeah. Yeah. Happy New Year, I guess. Happy New Year. I, I, I guess. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'm alive. Yeah. That's Jeff. That's Jeff. right. We were worried you were dead for a while. Or, well, I Or know. very sick. Yeah. Jeff kind of, lives in Connecticut. Ah, uh, nice. Uh, we're here, in come closer to the microphone. We're in would Connecticut. You? Well, you got to uh, turn it. Well, I, it, well, then they won't hear me. Well. And I am the star of the show, after all. We're in well, right, right now we live in Oxford, Connecticut. Ox, Ox, Oxford. Ford. Oxford. Ox, Ford. Ox, Ford. Yeah. yeah. Connecticut. Connecticut. Right. Yeah. And uh, we used to live in uh, West in um, Woodbridge, and in the New Haven area. Yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah. But uh, we still go there quite a bit because uh, we go sailing. I'm nice. Island Sound. Uh, so. well, my ex husband and I, we had a boat. We used to dock it in row eight in Connecticut. Oh, nice. Yeah. 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 So, anyway, and, there, and there's Mike. Hi, Mike. Mike, Mike and his. Uh, we should all take up, you know, we should all do, we should all take up a collection and buy Mike a new, a new, a new camera. Hey, I went to uh, Costco today. Yeah. Hi, wait, hi, so, Mark Turner. Hi, Mark. Hi, Mark. Hey, Mark. Hey, Mark. Hey, counts. And uh, saw their new HD TV sets. Huh, for one for two thousand dollars. To me, Alex and everybody, I looked at another one for less than a thousand. The picture quality was better than the two thousand dollar. I but we bought one for, for, for no for under six hundred, about five fifty. Yeah, I and, saw that. And it's it's the best. TV set I ever bought. I mean, it's better than even the 4K we have in the bedroom. I'm saying good night. Uh, good night. Good night. Uh, That's pretty quick. Thanks. She's That's giving, too quick. She's like. She's giving up the ghost, folks. I have to. Okay. I'm tired. Love you. I love you too. Okay. Mwah. Old people kissing. Doesn't that make you want to it's throw gross. up? Uh oh. Uh, well, Look who's in the garage tonight. <laughs> yeah. Where are Where are you tonight, uh, uh, Rob? Can you hear me? Yeah. Yeah, I'm in the garage. I'm, I'm, it's it was 70 degrees out today. Yeah, and I want to smoke a cigar because it's going to go back down to 30 and 20s this weekend. Uh -huh. So I thought I would take this time to sit out here where it's nice and comfortable now and enjoy a smoke. Ah, good. Okay, and it looks like it looks like your garage isn't quite finished because there's still the what the the marks on the wall there. Yeah, they don't do that. They don't finish the garage. It's it's all uh, sheet rocked. They just don't do the finish work. Well, why is that? Is there a reason? Jesus, because they're cheap. Well, wait, well you just went no, Jesus, there's... Mike. What, Mark? What? What'd you go Jesus for? That the size of that Cohiba? <laughs> that Rob? Oh my God! What is that? A a welding arc? I mean, <laughs> <laughs> it's a torch. Yeah, I mean, I'm like, holy mackerel! It's a lean torch. <laughs> But, you know, I, I looked at those uh, sets today at Costco, and I was not pleased with that $2,000 one. Well, the 2001 is an OLED, probably. Uh, uh, I got the information here. Yeah. No, the 2000 uh, one is 800 digital, 30, uh, 3840 at 2160 theater quality. Well, I mean, what, what, what does that mean? What brand is it? Sanjo. Sanyo? Uh, no, no, no. It's uh, V I uh, V uh, Vis Vizio. Vizio. Stay Vizio. away. Really? Well, why stay away stay from away. Vizios? I haven't bought them. But they're always cheaper than anything else. But I've I'll heard. You, I've heard. I have one, a sixty-five inch, yeah. and uh, it's a four K, and it's awesome. Really? And it it got the best r rating last year mm -hmm. for four K TVs. Mm -hmm. I can't say enough nice things about it. I don't have a problem with it. Really? Yeah. Well, this one here, 
the one I saw, Rob, today is Costco's 85 inch. 85. What are they going for now? 2000. Wow, that's a big difference because mine is 70 or 65. 75. 75. I think it's a plaza. I think it's plaza. Some of them, uh, some of them are plas- have plasma. No, they don't no, make there's plasmas. no more plasma. They that's don't make done. plasmas anymore. Oh, uh, whatever they call it, this theater deal. But uh, I go, 85. That's a big freaking set. Well, we got we, we got a through. we got a sixty five, and and a sixty five is huge. I bought the newest one. I got I got a fifty five because it's for the guest room, and there's a, you know, a lot of it has to do with how far back from the set you're sitting, and I'm not sitting back as far. So that fifty five inch set takes up the same field of view the sixty the sixty five does in in the bedroom, if not more so. So, you know, it really, you really should buy a set sized to the size of your room, okay? See, my, my family room, I have a 45, which is nice, Sandro. Yeah. The color is perfect. I have no complaints with it, no problems with it. Um, but I was looking at the set, I go, yeah, if you have a big enough well, room. Well, I'm going to tell you right now, five. there is no reason in many ways if it, to, to spend a lot of money on a 4K. They're all pretty good quality. There are the OLEDs, which are spectacular. Uh, yes, Mark, you just... Uh, OLEDs have a couple of problems. The burn-in, right? Yep. That's, I can't believe burn-in is back. Burn-in is back. Wow, because the picture I saw at Costco... I know, picture is spectacular. Just, I mean, it's breathtaking. Breathtaking. But I, And I could, almost bought one because they were 1700 bucks, right? I know. And, and, and I needed a 55-inch that had... It, it, it really, what I was buying depended on the base that I had because I only have a... I have it on a bookcase, and it has to have enough room for the base to fit... Does that make sense to you? Yes, so it, it turned out I got the Samsung because this model of the Samsung had the kind of base that I didn't have a problem with. And uh, I so I was had to settle for the $455, $460 TV set, and I brought it back, and I went, this is better than the one I got, the LG I have in the bedroom. It The, the darks are darker, and the whites are whiter, and the, it's, uh, you know... It's spectacular. So you don't really these days need to go out and spend two thousand dollars for a flat screen TV any longer. Unless you want a, unless you want a ginormous one. Yeah. What what did you what did you get again, Rob? Um, I've got the Vizio and I have a a, a Samsung uh, fifty five inch in my bedroom. Yeah. And and um, and I have a Panasonic. Um, Plasma, big, heavy. You know, I, I didn't realize how heavy that thing was. <laughs> it's so heavy because we hung it on the wall just the day before yesterday. Yeah. And it's, it, 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 I was worried about it. That thing has to weigh about 50 pounds. Oh, well, it's this- a 50, 55 inch plasma. The damn thing weighs a ton. What a gorgeous picture on it. Well, it pl- is spectacular. Pl- I have friends who have plasmas that they bought. 15 years ago or something when they first came mm-hmm. out and they still have a better picture than most sets I see today. You know what's what's annoying yeah. is and I know Panasonic, are they in the TV business at all anymore? Panasonic. I don't think so unless they've licensed their name out to someone else. Like You know what, why? Uh, because did. So so I put it downstairs I Right across from my pool table, and yeah, I thought, yeah. you know what? I got. I don't have a, a a direct TV hookup. I don't want to spend seven bucks a month for that, because I got I'm, I, my bill is enough. So I figured I would use Viera Cast and the thing. You know, it's a smart TV. It's all blank. It's all blank. It's like they they just abandoned Viera Cast or Viera whatever Viera View or there's there's Viera Cast. And then, yeah. which you can look at, like if you have security cameras around the house, IP cameras, you could set yeah. them up. But they also have like a menu of all these. There's one left. Amazon is there, but nothing else. It's it's just like a bunch of squares that are empty. By the way, Rob, 
Do you know um, Panasonic? They ended up getting the plasma factory. Well, their what they ended up getting was the old Pioneer manufacturing. When Pioneer decided to exit, Panasonic bought all the assets. So oh. what you have basically is a Pioneer elite. Is that right? Yep. I, thought, I, I, thought, I, I, wait a minute, I have Panasonic. It's 10 years I, old. I'm, I bought I'm, it looking at, that, yep. I'm looking at Amazon, and they have Panasonics, but they don't look to be – it's, it's strange. Uh, they're cheap, and they don't look to be – well, here's one that looks fairly new. Uh, they are they, – they use the term the Viera now for their sets. Oh, I thought Plasma – didn't they have problems with it? With plasma? No. They, they worked out those problems. They really did. I mean, the same, you know, same thing, burn in, stuck pixels, but yeah. they really worked yeah. it out. Yeah. But, but 50 but, pounds on your wall, I'm surprised, Rob, that wall didn't come down. You know what's <laughs> what strange? You, oh. I, I got to tell you something strange. The set in back of me that you can barely oh, see. Oh, the there thing. you go. I just Googled Vieira cast. Yes. Yeah. And it, they, you know, they call it a. Um, I'm, I'm looking at Vieira Cast on Wikipedia, and it says that it's you know it's one of the first smart TV blah blah blah. You know, it says Vieira Cast service is being replaced by a new platform called Vieira Connect, which is not backward compatible. So, all I have is is really until I hook it up to a Roku, which I did put on the back, uh, is is uh, just a TV now. So it's not a smart TV; it's dumb now. Well, the thing is, the thing is that, like, this set was the first large screen set I bought after I had a rear screen projector set, which sucked. Um, uh, but this was a 1080p. Oh, no, this was the second 1080p I bought. But it is heavy as shit. And then the next one I have that I'm going to put in here uh, was a Samsung that I got. This is a Samsung. It was a Samsung I bought a few years later, and it's maybe half the weight of this one. And the one I just bought is half the weight of that one. I mean, they've gotten to the point now. And also the bezel, you know, the, the, the amount of space yeah. around the screen is just very minor now. Nothing. Yeah. 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 Where yeah. here, you could probably... Oh, I don't know. I guess you could put a dead body underneath the. <laughs> the That's like that Panasonic. It, I, I mean, the the uh, the guy that you know he mounted it for me on the TV on the wall yeah. because I was I was afraid to do it because downstairs our studs are like twenty four apart. Yeah. And now, yeah. So you can only put it in one. You can only put it in one stud, and the others you have to use anchors. So yeah. I was afraid. I was afraid to do that. I said, "Let me call, you know, somebody in and let them do it right." And as it was, when we hung it, you can see the sheetrock was pulling a little bit. Oh, that's, not, that's not good at all. Well, I think it's. I think it's pretty safe, and I don't move it. But uh, the damn thing weighs. I could carry two of the fifty-five inches at least. I could carry probably four of them if you know take them out of the box if I can hold them. They weigh nothing. This damn thing weighs a ton. I know. You know, my, my best friend down here, Rob, he had a 58-inch Panasonic Plasma and normal studs, 18-inch. It took three of us to hang the thing. That's how heavy it was. <laughs> They're heavy. It, it was gorgeous picture. I mean, when he moved out, when he sold his place, he left the television there. It was might, like, you can have it. Might I also add? I, I'll do the same thing when I leave here if it's still up. Uh, yeah. Uh, 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 and mark my words on this one. This is the cheapest flat screen I've ever bought. The cheapest one. Uh, and the best one I've ever bought. Well, I told yeah. you that I got the 55-inch 4K Samsung for two ninety nine. Yes, right. You told me that story. Yeah. So two ninety nine because my wife is always <laughs> looking for a good you, like what they call computer glitches. I, and I don't know. Who, she, I don't know. She what, bought it at yeah. Walmart, and they when she went in there and said, "I want this," they said. Uh, I, she said she knew she, we had this website called BrickSeek.com, mm -hmm. and she knew that that store had three of them, and they wouldn't sell it to her. She had a yeah. fight with them to get it. By the way, they somebody, wanted to buy it for themselves. Somebody just tried to call me 
and uh, they were obviously not calling directly on GabNet Live to GabNet Live. They were calling through a former uh, conference that we had, and of course I couldn't sign them in. So please, if you're listening to me, go over and uh, sign on to GabNet Live, okay? As the ID, do not sign on using a former sign-on that you used. That doesn't We're work. We're still tonight. <laughs> Phil, uh, Phil's uh, d- uh, doing another uh, thing with uh, uh, underwater photography or something. Uh, you know. Okay. Yeah. Target had a 50-inch TV set, believe it or not, Samsung, for 200 and some odd bucks. I go, what? Target? 50? 50? 50. Inch? Yeah. So yeah. I want... Anything under 55 is pretty cheap. Uh, yeah. anything, 55 is like where they start to, to gain some. Yeah, but momentum. you know something? Still, I, at Costco, this 55, I mean, it's a smart TV as well. You know, it has all the features that you would have on a smart TV. Uh, you can put, uh, it carries Netflix and it carries Hulu and it carries Amazon and all of those things. Mm-hmm. It, I'm not really wanting for anything. It only has three HDMIs in, but I also have hdmi breakout boxes too so if i want to add more i can uh but outside of that it uh it, it for for 500 i think it was it came to 638 with tax so whatever it was was like 569 or something like that and it was it's amazing i just i thought i'd bring it home have buyer's remorse and be dragging it back you know i've still got the box sitting out there and I don't have any kind of buyer's remorse. I'll tell you one other thing that's interesting, and I, I don't know if anybody has ha- experienced this. This set I have here, I'm giving it away to somebody who's dragging it away tomorrow. And, um, uh, and then we're going to put the old one that was in the guest room in here, uh, which is a very good set, Samsung. But it got in it a scratch in the screen, kind of like, like a little kind of nick, and you could s- kind of see it. It was there. Right, a couple of weeks ago, I went looking for it. It's disappeared. These sets, I think, sometimes have an ability to repair themselves. The, 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 somehow, the pixels double over or do something. But anyway, then the scratch that had been put into the screen it, was, it wasn't on the b- body of the screen. It was on the actual, you know, uh, surface of the of the screen that worked. Right. Uh, seemed to just, it seems to have disappeared. I don't so you know, know what happened to me when, it, when I moved? I have two monitors in my office. Yeah. You know, they're just HP regular monitors. They're nothing special, but they're, you know. Yeah. So in the move process, because I didn't pack them, I just put them, you know, I carried that stuff out because I needed it. I, I work from home, right? So when I finished working in the apartment, I carried them and we, and we put them in the car and I moved them to the office and I had the week off in between. And so... When I set them up, I realized somehow I put some some serious scratches in them. And I was like, ah, oh, look at these. So I Googled online scratches on uh, computer monitors. Yeah. I took – I found a, a method that gets rid of the scratches. Just takes a little bit of Vaseline and rub them into the scratches and then wipe off the excess. You can't even see the scratches where they were like – Bam. What does it do? I mean, is they it, were right it, does, there. Does it? It fills up the scratch. It fills up the scratch. You don't even see it anymore. Wow! That's Isn't that amazing. wacky? It works. Oh, it actually works. Just the tiniest bit of Vaseline. You rub it in with your finger. Just you know, rub it in like that, and then just take like a, a, a microfiber towel and just wipe off the excess, and your scratches are gone. Little helpful tip for Gabby. Little helpful tip. Yeah. Well, I I just don't know what happened with this, but I do know that in uh, some TV cameras, like in studios and stuff like that, they they would suddenly pixels. One little pixel would go bad. Sometimes, if you ever see a TV show, and they're using a camera, and all of a sudden you see just one little dot. That's because a pixel mm-hmm. died in the camera yep. tube. That given you can actually apply push a button and apply a current to the screen and it will it won't clean them up what it does is it goes and doubles over for another one or something and cleans up that dot and i think that's maybe what happened here maybe these things are somewhat self-repairing 
some of these TVs actually have that ability to do like a white. You, you go like with a white and it, it, it'll take away burn in stuff like that. I know that some of the old plasma TVs had those kinds of things where you can there's a setting that you can go. And, and if you're not burning too badly, it'll fix that. Yeah. But so these old LEDs seem to have, and these are the most expensive out there, and, and I can see why people buy them, because if you see them in a showroom, you just sit there and stare at them. They're just so good. Uh, but you say they get burning. There was they one- get burning, and in time, the colors are going to fade because of its organic nature. Ah. Plus the fact there's only one factory, and it's LG, that's making these panels. Yeah, yeah. So... And if you see any other brand other than LG yeah. that says they have an OLED, it's an LG panel. Wow. You know, it's Sony is using an LG panel, but with Sony circuitry. Yeah. So, so it's something that I've learned. Interesting. Wow. And I'm sure the technology is going to change for the better over time, but uh, I'm going to wait a bit because, yeah, I do like OLED a lot. Well, but- also, as time goes on, OLED is going to get cheaper, just like everything else does. I mean, do you remember you you go out and get a 4K uh, screen? They were the, you couldn't find one under two thousand yep. dollars, and now I just bought one for five fifty, and it's it's fine. It, I, I have no buyer's remorse at all. In fact, I said to girlfriend, I said, at five hundred and fifty bucks, it's impossible to have buyer's remorse, you know. Because it, it, it's just not going to go bad on you. It, but, it, you know, you know what I did find out, and this is something I, I, I should say to, to all the people who are listening out there. Oh, by the way, hi, Mike Green. Mark Green. Hi. Uh, uh, Mark. Uh, Mark. Mark. I, said, I corrected myself. It's my old addled age that does this to me. But anyway, um, what was I going to say? Um, um, oh, yeah. If you have a 4K screen, and let's say you want to go use Netflix, okay, or you're, you have a PlayStation 4, not the Pro, just the PlayStation 4, these are not 4K. The, the new, play, the new uh, Apple TVs are 4K, all right? Roku is 4K now, pretty mm-hmm. much all of them. But if you're using a non-4K machine, to feed your 4K set, and you go to some place like Netflix, Netflix will not recognize it as 4K, so if you're subscribing to the 4K, you're not going to see any 4K sources off of that. If you go to your Roku, where you do have 4K, you will suddenly see it'll say, you know, 4K, this is in Ultra HD, blah, 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 blah. Uh, so if, if you're going to get yourself 4K set, Make sure that the those external sources, those smart uh, the smart TV sources like uh, a Roku or a Apple TV. Well, Apple TV, the new ones are all 4K, so you don't have to worry about that. But make sure your source it's feeding is also 4K. Otherwise, things like Amazon and Netflix will not recognize them as 4K TV sets. I'm waiting. Uh, I, I eventually will buy a 4K projector for downstairs in my theater, but they are just too crazy right now. I bought a BenQ, and it's it, it just looks spe- – I have the 125-inch screen, and it is my pride and my joy, and I love it. I couldn't be happier to sit in there and watch movies, and I'm not a movie person. I could watch movies now because I can – my wife, we have a love, instead of putting theater seating, my wife and I, my wife says, I want a love seat so we could sit next to each other. So we, we get a blanket, we hang out, and it is the nicest thing in the world. As soon as I can, and the prices drop, because I paid less than 600 for my projector. Yeah, how much are the 4K projectors? Oh, they'll be, you know, I don't think they're under 2500 Oh, really? Yeah, they're, they're little come down. They're gorgeous. Oh, yeah, yeah. man. Well, you see, it's... I would I would do that here in an instant, except for the fact that you have to have no light in the room. It had the lights. You do. Have, it, it, the lights you do. have to be out, right? I yeah. When I'm done with my stogie, I'll take you downstairs because I'm portable tonight. I'll show you my theater. It's a room that was designed. For a theater, there are no windows in it. It's got just French doors that open up into it. 
Yeah. And so the only thing I have to do, I've got to paint the wall. I didn't know this. I got to paint the walls and the ceiling because the walls are like a gray and the ceiling is white. And on it looks great until you hit a like a real bright scene. And then you get a, you get a little wash out because you need a flat paint. And I painted with eggshell. I didn't know. Yeah. And so I got to paint it with like flat black ceiling walls and stop the. The, the reflection. Yeah, but if they, it, 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 so I couldn't really do it here because I don't have a room that I could black out that well. Okay. Yeah, you, know, you could buy, they have some great, because uh, I did the research on this, some okay. curtains. Yeah. You know, like, like velour curtains. Yeah. That will really do a good job of blacking out your windows if you really wanted to do it. Yeah, but you could re- you know, you could do it. it. It would be a little impossible here. I just, I just don't see it as a possibility right now. Plus, I'd want to mount it on the ceiling. Which is what I did, And the problem is my ceilings are gigantic, okay? They're tall, you mean? like uh, My ceiling, if I, I would say it's 15 feet. Woo! Oh, wow. Yeah, I mean, if I stand up. You'd have to make sure you got a projector that had really good I can stand uh, up, double my height. It's at least 12 feet. It's probably more like 15. So. Okay, there, there's the appropriate hardware to mount it on the ceiling yeah, for really, high ceilings, yeah. Alex. There is that. Yeah, I know, but then it would have to come down. I don't yeah. think... It would be a pole, right? Yeah, you wouldn't... Yeah. And then that would kind of make the room, if it were like the living room, kind of look dorky. You, I, you wouldn't want to do it in your living room. You, would, I've been in your living room. You wouldn't want to do it in your living room. Uh, yeah, but I don't the, think you'd want to do I, it in your The guest room. room is too small for it. Uh, because you do my need... room is 12 by 16 i think wow yeah well uh, maybe i i could do it there but um it it's still it, it would be a you bit... lose a guest room you lose yeah, I'd, lose, I'd lose the guest. yeah yeah so i mean yeah. but you know i i've heard good things about the <clears throat> about the projectors and the it's other reason so i would nice. want to project you would it, love it you would it, love it because it, they do 3d well i'm a 3d fan and they don't make 3d tv sets anymore right but the projectors still and do all them. that by the way that was a case of the uh, uh, companies not knowing what to do they should have all come together with one standard, and the best one was not the shutters, but the Polaroid glasses, which I have with the LGs, okay? Um, and it wasn't as good when I had a 1080p, and then I did the 3D because it cuts the picture in half. But when I have the 4K and I watch 3D, it is sensational. Uh, they didn't do that. Uh, They went to the shutter glasses for some people. And within the shutter glass community, you couldn't run the shutter glasses from, say, a Panasonic on a Sony or a Sony on a a Samsung because they all have... Typical, isn't it? Yeah. So rather than come out with one standard, which should have been the glasses that you use in the movie theaters, because I steal them, take them home, I got my glasses, I lose some, I don't have to buy more. I just, every time I see a movie, I got the glasses. Um, they didn't go to that. And and so they didn't come to that standard. Also, the cost of creating a 3D TV set, maybe, maybe is 25 bucks more. (laughs) Okay. And they were, and they were charging, and they were just didn't, they were charging seven, $800 more for a 3D TV set. It just didn't catch on. You don't, nobody really like, eh. Most people just don't give a crap about it. You know something? If it were just given as a bonus on a TV set, hey, you know, just like this set has now, all the sets have HD, uh, HDR. Why do they have them? Because they can do it. They just throw the chip in right and they, they're HDR, right? Do the same thing with 3D. Hey, it's 3D. If you don't want to use it, don't use it. But you're not going to have to pay more for it. But if you hook up to your television, if you're going through HDMI for like, like a five to one or a seven to one, you got to have a receiver that does HDR. And that's, you know, like that's my problem right now. My receiver is, let's see, probably about eight years old. It's a a nice one, but it's about eight years old and it does THX and it does, it has, you know, the new HDMI, but it doesn't, it's one, not the newest HDMI. It doesn't do 3d. I'd have to replace it. Mm -hmm. And I'm not ready to replace it yet. 
If I but wanted he, to watch 3D, he, I would he, have to do it direct. Yeah, I'd yeah. have to put the like right. my PlayStation 3 directly. I'd have to run a cable directly to the projector for, for the video and then separate the audio out and then do it that way. Yeah, well, all the to this day, all the PlayStations that come out are 3D capable. Right. But you have to have a set that's 3D capable to play it. And then right. they, 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 they are. And a receiver that's 3D capable. Because if you're going to watch 3D, chances are you want to. I know for me, I've got a huge. I'll show you. I've got a huge subwoofer in my in my studio. I mean, in my theater, and it just it rocks. But, the well, you know place. where you can you know where you can still get 3D though is HBO on demand. Where uh, HBO on demand has three has has a channel devoted uh, uh, on its on demand to huh. to 3D. I wonder if if Direct TV carries that. I'm sure they do. If Direct TV has their own 4K channels. I know that. But, but yeah, but do you have on demand? Uh, HBO yeah, on I demand. I can get on demand. Well, if you go to on demand and then you go to movies, there's probably a subsection for the 3D films. I have to look. I didn't know that. Yeah, I, yeah. I never and what saw. it is, what it is, is then if you have a 3D set, you just put it on side by side and it merges them together into one picture, and then you've got the 3D. So they still they still do that. They're still huh. doing that. Uh, but less and less are being released. You know where it's still being released a lot? Where 3D, they're still selling 3D sets? Europe. Europe, it's quite popular. Again, it's, yeah, it's, it's marketing in this country. It just didn't catch on with the consumer, and so they stopped them. Yeah. Now, last night I mentioned something, by the way, that, uh, uh, about Amazon uh, and we, I think, what did we determine that they're merchandising in different ways all over the yeah. country? But yes. it, it, what I noticed last night as I went online is, is they were raising the price of one day depending on the size of the particular item you were buying. I saw one thing, believe it or not, where they were going to charge thirteen dollars and ninety nine cents for one day delivery on an item that was worth twenty six bucks. <laughs> They, I think they're discouraging that, okay? Uh, uh, and as I said, what they did with me is I noticed that if you don't tell them, they'll do four-day delivery. It's what's now called slow Amazon delivery, all right? And for you, if you order <coughs> slow, let them use slow, uh, uh, that slow order, they give you a free movie, right? Isn't that what you said, Ron? They gave, yeah. They, they. Uh, it has to do with movies, and then they, they. I get. I had another one recently that said they would give me five dollars towards some purchase or whatever it was if I chose. I had to have the the thing here for Saturday. I just purchased something day before yes yesterday, yeah. and uh, they said, you know, if you'll forego the the two day shipping, we'll give you five ninety nine towards something else, which I. I couldn't because I have to have it here for tomorrow. So, yeah. So you had you had to have it for them, okay. But the point is that with mine, it it literally will. Uh, I, I I ordered something and you know it says two day delivery available or whatever. And I ordered it and then I looked and said arriving Tuesday or Wednesday. And I went, wait a minute. I ordered. It's supposed to be two day. What happened to that? Then I went back and I went to a little, little, just like a little. You have to look for it. It's a little, uh, um, kind of uh, what do you call it? Uh, not oval, but it's a, it's a little button, and it says change, and you hit that, and then it gives you the choice of free two day, or so much for one day. You hit, you say, I want the two day. You click on that, and all of a sudden. All the stuff that was going to be coming Wednesday is now coming Saturday, and, and for free. But what they're doing is they're making you go that extra step because they want to, uh, they want to, they want to, uh, 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 you know, I think discourage people from doing the two day now because apparently it's costing them money. Yeah. So if you save them money, uh, they didn't offer me anything if I tried to save them money, but they offered you. And that I thought was interesting, you know. Uh, but we talked about this last night, and I don't want to—I don't want to really get into it again. Um, so, what else is happening? Anybody? Uh, 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 here, let's ask. Uh, 
Let's ask Mr. Green. Uh, what's what's floating your boat news-wise, Mr. Green, who looks like the Unabomber if you had dark glasses on? I don't know. I've got MTS out with a 4 by Xbox with a 65-inch ETD, and I don't know what to do. What, what are you even talking about? I mean, I have no idea what you guys are talking about. <laughs> I don't know what I don't have. I have my biggest TV is this big, you know. Yeah. So. Yeah. I don't know. I thought I just thought I you might you guys might be talking. I was curious to to think what you guys thought about um, the oddball president we have with with the the you know, the shithole. Um, comment and but that may be something of no interest since since the right wing guy is not not available tonight. Well, it's strange. It's strange, but in a way, the, the president has all but admitted he said it. He doesn't want to act like he said it, but he hasn't. This morning he denied it. He denied it. Yeah, this morning he denied it. But, but everybody went. <laughs> really? Well, a couple of the Republicans said I didn't hear it. OK, yeah, who were in the room. Yeah. And then Dick Durbin, who was in the room, said he not only said it once, he said it about three Ooh. times. In case you know you're not aware, in case you're not aware of what the word is, watch any of your television networks because they'll be happy to tell you what the word was. You know what's funny? If you listen to the Republican pundits who are trying to defend Trump, um, on like CNN today, they'll when when asked when 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 the commentator says, "What do are you proud of your president for saying this? Are you proud of your president for saying this?" Their answer is, "What he was trying to say is this, 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 and this." Well, no, wait a minute. That's not what I'm asking you. I'm asking you the words that he said. Are you yeah, proud of it? Yeah, and they'll say, exactly. "Well, I don't know. I wasn't there, so I don't know the words." If you don't know the words, then how do you know what he was trying to say? Right. Yeah. If you if if you don't that's true. If you don't that's know that if you're saying, well, I don't know, I don't, I wasn't there, so I don't know the words. If you don't know the words he said, how can you interpret them? Yeah, exactly. Did you, did you, did you guys did you guys hear Trump for critical his thinking? <laughs> Captain Carrot Trump to, uh, for his physical today and pass. How? Who knows? No, we, no they, 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 wait a minute. Uh, well, I don't no, know no, how, no, I don't the, know how you I don't know doctor. how you found out he passed because they he haven't did. announced yet the results. No, they did. Oh, they, they did? did? They did. Yeah. Captain he passed Garrett with phenomenal passed. flying colors. I heard. Even a big goofy smile on his face. I go, yeah, Captain Carrot Top. How much time did you use this time? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, 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 but I, I really, the, what did they say? Phenomenal, healthy. Really? I think I, heard, I think I heard the words phenomenal. He's got high cholesterol, so he's on a cholesterol medication, which brings his cholesterol down to a level that is uh, fine. And they said that there'll be more detail coming out. But right now, the, the, the first thing that came out was he's in great health. Now, wait a minute. Unquote. Hold on a second. How can they come out with it this fast when it takes my doctor three days to get the results back? Well, I mean, if you're because it only takes your doctor three days because you're not the president, and how hard is it to do a blood test? No, right? but no. If you if you're not in line, well, well, and they don't these, have to ship these, it off. Some, some of these blood he, tests. He went to Walter Reed Hospital, and you know, so yeah. But some of these blood tests take a couple of days because they have to be, you know. Am I right, Jeff? You know a lot about this. There's not too much that that uh, most of the blood tests that that I get on the traditional type of, type of stuff. They give me the information in uh, several hours. Right. Yeah, yeah, I, they could. They again, know. and that hour. Well, hold, hold on a second. Let me answer this. That's the chemical part. Let me answer this call and tell them not to keep calling. Hello, who is this? Is this Renee? Renee. Uh, Renee. Nope. It's not Renee. <laughs> it's not. Oh, is it Bree? Yes, Bree, you've got you've got to call Gabnet Live. You can't call using an existing uh, con ah, group. Okay. Do it that way because uh, we're getting you know, we're we're getting okay, it. Sorry. We can't pick you up. Okay. Call right there. All right. Bye. Okay. Uh, yep. Anyway, uh, 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 resume call. Here we go. 
Oh, come on, everybody. Resume. Call on hold. Resume. Well, I'm ask, asking it to resume. And here, resume call. There we go. What, what the hell is going on here? Add to group. Group to call. Oh, no. This thing won't uh, resume call. Fuck me. Fuck me. I, and I don't know who that is. Let me get rid of that. Let me see here. Uh, wait a minute. H hold on. I'm having a problem here. I can't somehow get my people back online again. Oh, this is this is terrific, folks. I'm sorry. Uh, let me see here. How do I how do I now how do I get back to this? There we go. There's that. Now let me go resume call. Okay, resume call. Resume call. Resume call. There we are. Oh, you know, that there we go. There we body. go. There we go. Now we got everybody. Bree, try calling again. I can I can take you. But there was somebody else on the line on another call that I don't even recognize. Um, but Bree, give us another call. We'll be okay. Oh, in fact, let me call Bree. That, that, that'll that'll make life easier. Hold on a second. Add the group. There we go. Now I'm calling him. And let's see if we get them. Okay. Um, anyway, we're talking about the president's health. Uh, I just, I, you know, I, I just can't believe the fix isn't in because you'll look at that guy. Hi, Bree, are you there? Hello, yeah. Okay, good. Uh, I just called you is how I solved it. Uh, 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 the fact is that, that I, uh, um, uh, you know, I, I just can't imagine that guy got a good health report. I mean, he looks terrible. I mean, I would to... say high blood pressure. Yes. Uh, that's not what they're saying. <laughs> Unless they're lying, but again, it's not his doctor. Yeah, yeah. I, I, it's going to be interesting to see. Well, it's yeah. a doctor who doesn't want to be ridiculed and given a name. No, it could be. <laughs> I, th I tell you, one thing I saw though tonight was that. The, the clean bill of health was from a Dr. Ronnie something, something or other. R-O-N-N-I-E. Yeah. But the guy's, the doctor's real name was spelled R-O-N-N-Y. So the statement that he has a clean bill of health, the doctor misspelled his own name. <laughs> <laughs> the best so, so I, I don't know what that means, but it's very strange. Here, the, as a US, USA Today story, a White House doctor, President Trump is in excellent health and, physi and physical ex went exceptionally well. Nobody, no doctor says that. Dr. Ronnie Jackson gave the exam to Trump right uh, before right, the but, president but departed Ron, for his holiday Ronnie, weekend. The, the, right, the right spelling of Ronnie is R-O-N-N-Y. That's what it is here in this, in this okay. USA Today article. And that's it's fake news. <laughs> I look forward to briefing some of the details on Tuesday, Jackson, the, the doctor said uh, in a statement. He looks forward. To, so we're going to get briefed on it Tuesday. So in other words, they haven't probably done the blood work up yet. Trump appears to be overweight. The 71-year-old president is known to eat his fair share of junk food. Is famously is sued for ex no exercise beyond golf. Yeah. But that's the only thing that says here is just excellent health. We'll see. Well, well, we'll see. I mean, it could be when the blood test comes back, he has AIDS. That could be good. <laughs> Somebody from Haiti Maybe. gave it to him. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see Anderson Cooper's uh, show? Well, no, you wouldn't have seen it. I watched it today on a, on a repeat yeah. on uh, CNN Go. Yeah, um, he did an hour on the whole thing, and it was awesome. And and at the end, the last three or four minutes, he started. He broke up. He almost was crying, uh, talking about the folks because he spent a lot of time in Haiti. He was educated, math educated by a Haitian teacher, mm -hmm. and he talked about the 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 character of the of the people from Haiti and got all choked up. I mean, it was uh, really. Very nice, very eloquent. Yeah, but they're from a shithole. Yeah, actually, he did. He, he, he. Oh wait a minute! When he walked back the statement today, I remember it. 
He walked it back by saying, I never said that Haiti, I never said that about Haiti. And he didn't. He talked, the thing he referred to as a shithole was Africa. Yeah. And then he invited everybody, all these black people in for Martin Luther King Day. Yeah. <laughs> and it pissed me off that Martin Luther King's son, Martin Luther King Jr.'s son, actually thanked the president today. He should have, they shouldn't have gone. You know, they should have yeah. boycotted it. That really pisses me off that they actually, they should have canceled the ceremony or not canceled it, but they should have said, we're not going. Listen, Martin Luther King, um, it, it, just because Martin Luther King was the way he was, which is debatable, by the way, uh, and an honorable person, debatedly, uh, doesn't mean that his son isn't a fucking asshole. And his, I, his son said today, you, you agree he's with, not a bigot, he's not a racist, he's just ignorant. Uh, well, that's, that, we know he's ignorant. Uh, Mark, you nodded your head yes when I said that about Martin Luther King Jr. Don't, haven't you always I felt heard, he's... Yeah, they're, they're, they're stories, but he's, he's human. You know, um, there's always going to be stories about our heroes, and we put our, our heroes up on pedestals well, when they have the same weaknesses that everyone else does. Well, yeah, but he isn't really a hero, Martin Luther King Jr. He's only a hero by proxy. You know, because his father was the hero. He's the son, and then all of a yeah. sudden he feels he's going to capitalize on that. Yeah. Uh, let's see here. Mark had his hand up first, and then Mike. Yeah, okay. Um, I, saw, I saw that live on TV, and, and, I, and I said to my wife, he's not going to say anything. And it was actually Martin Luther King's nephew, I think, not his son. Sorry. But nevertheless, he, he should have... If he had any courage, he should have taken that moment to say, to, to, to call Trump out. I, I am really tired of all these people um, not having the courage to, to say wrong is wrong. And he, he was surrounded by a, a, a bunch of people of color. None of them uh, said what they thought. They just went along to get along. And for me, it was extremely disappointing. And also, in that meeting yesterday, when when Trump said these things, there were, I think, six people in that room, one of which was Senator Dick Durbin, yeah. which was, was President Trump. The other four were all Republicans, Lindsey Graham, two other senators, and I think Kevin McCarthy. Yeah. Dick Durbin said what happened. Lindsey Graham said what Dick Durbin said was true, but he wouldn't say what Trump said. Yeah. The other two senators, Tom Cotton and David Perdue, said they couldn't remember what happened yesterday. What, what kind of cowards do we have in this country that, all, that, 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 that can do that? That have that have no moral compass to, to to do the right thing. Well, the Republicans look. The Republicans would, if we had a Democrat in office doing exactly the same thing, would be repudiating him like crazy. But they're they, they don't want to eat their own. They I know, I would say that probably if you got all these guys really drunk and then took them into a back room and said nothing goes out of this room and then asked most Republican uh, senators and congressmen what they think of Trump, they would say he's a douchebag. Okay? But they have to defend him because they're having to defend the party. And they shouldn't have to defend him just to save the party. They might actually save the party by calling him a douchebag. Well, that didn't happen with Dick Nixon. You know, that's right. That's the right. day came. Hey, listen, people... listen, listen. I wish Nixon were president again. <laughs> okay. At least he had a good foreign policy. Yeah, he's yeah. actually dead. He's actually dead, though, Alex. Well, <laughs> all the all the better to want him back. <laughs> that's right. He could do a better job than Trump. You know, no, no, you know what I'm saying. I mean, I mean hey, I let me ask you this, Mark. I, I I know your politics, and you're really to the left. Okay. In think, hindsight, you know, in hindsight, little, how bad you know, was George Bush Jr.? In hindsight. He still sucks. 
He yeah, still he was, sucks. He was, very, but he was very bad, but he was not a bad person. It, 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 you, you have a very good point there. I never got yeah. the feeling that I didn't like George Bush Jr. because I felt he didn't know shit. And I felt right. that he made bad decisions and he was letting other people. He didn't really want to be president, okay? He but but, but he nevertheless, I never person. want at George, any point. George W. Bush would actually touch a black person. It, well, it, there was never a point where I felt he was a bad guy. Donald Trump will not touch a black person. I You're, think Donald Trump has absolutely no moral not uh, forget moral compass i don't think he stands for anything he is just oh, he, he wants to win at any cost with any like where is this guy suddenly who was womanizer and really morally <clears throat> vapid suddenly he's 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 pandering to the to the religious right all of a sudden here's a guy who probably didn't even know what religion was before he, he just found he's looking to win at any cost in any way possible and stands for nothing just winning that's why he said well let's do this policy of love when it comes to daca and then he got pounded by the the right the alt right and the right his base so then he comes out and he 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 says I can't do that I can't do that so he changes they come in they present him with you, a bipartisan bill you know you, bill. know what his, you know what his politics of the day are what his talking whatever. points are whatever he hears on uh, uh, Fox. F F yeah. F F Fox and Friends Alex in the morning hey, yeah Alex yeah uh, I'm I'm getting ready to uh, go to work uh, yeah I have to work on a Saturday. Um, it's a little weird, but uh, I, I just can I make a point and then I'm going to listen to you guys while I, uh, you know, get ready. OK. Uh, OK. So two things. Um, one, I just there, there, I love it when there are headlines that are juxtaposed to each other. I, I can give you several that I've seen in the last week that are funny. But the one that I saw when Trump said is made his comment about Africa, there was a headline that popped up on my screen through Google News about a, I think a 13 year old boy from, uh, uh, I want to say Sierra Leone or one of the African countries, mm -hmm. and he is joining an MIT back uh, MIT project because he started coding on a Nokia phone when he was 11, and he's just like a genius, and now he's creating Android apps and things like that. And he comes from an African country. And, and this isn't this, you know, this isn't uh, new. We've had a lot of, uh, you know, great immigrants coming from those countries. I think if you look at Singapore and and the United Arab Emirates, what they do is mm -hmm. they give they let everybody come in who has, uh, you know, some type of some way that they can contribute to the country. But they just give them residency, but they don't give them citizenship. And you know, so I don't know if that's a possibility for us in the U.S. You know, where you know we can take folks in and we can basically say, you know, you get residency, but you're not a citizen. Eventually, you know, you may have to go home, but you could stay here. And the other uh, topic is Kentucky. I don't understand what's going on with this Medicare work thing, but Kentucky seems to be the first state to somehow make you you have to work in order to get. Does anybody know the details on that? Never even heard of it yet. I haven't either. Uh, this, is, this is something that, that Trump has actually <laughs> talked about, and it looks like he's for, uh, and that is that uh, you have to work to get your welfare. You have to do some kind of community service. Short-sighted. Well, yeah, but that's assuming, see, I mean, first you have to assume that that the people who are going to get this stuff, you know, is going to get it, uh, are are able to to work, you know, you 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 you're, you don't realize that sometimes people are getting welfare, they're getting assistance because physically they're not capable of doing these kind of things, and and so that's that's the other, that's the big problem. To tell you the truth, so I, I think I think what it is if you're small enough, Bree. Uh, Kentucky, they, they like to race horses. So if you're like small and you get Medicaid, uh, if you don't work, you have to ride race horses. <laughs> oh, jeez. 
Yeah. Because all, all that really takes is like sitting down and holding on. So all anyway, I know yeah. is that there is a certain politics of cruelty here in which I, I can't believe it, but I think, you know, Trump gets up in the morning and says, what group can I really put in a bad situation? You know, it's like this idea that, well, you know, welfare, everybody who's on welfare is cheating. And they're not, you know, they're simply on welfare because they don't, they need that kind of assistance to survive because the work isn't out there for them. I tell you, I tell you what, Alex. Though we do have a catch twenty two system in this yeah. country, I, and you know where I come from. I come from the left side of the the center, but we have people that that they're better off not to work. What, what is that? The breeze holding up. I went from rural Nigeria to an MIT backed startup with an Nokia phone. What is that about? That that's well. That's what I'm telling you. This guy is from one of the uh, you know those countries that Trump talked about. Yeah. That uh, and I guess he doesn't want this guy. But <laughs> you know what I mean? Well, like, you, this you, is the guy that he doesn't want. You know, with his immigration policies, people don't mention this. With his immigration policies, we are going to lose a lot of potential talent in this country. People who want to come oh, here yeah. who are like geniuses when it comes to technology and technology development and so mm. on. Uh, well, Alex, look at the number of international students that are down. I mean, we're we're not letting them in. Canada's getting a lot of them, right? You know, so I mean, I I, I think it's a sad mistake we're making. Yeah, well, he's making, and I don't know where that whole thing about immigrants comes from. I mean, come on, his 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 uh, grandfather was a fucking immigrant for crying out loud. He's married to one. He's married to an immigrant. You're absolutely right. <laughs> From a country that's uh, from a country that doesn't do very well in terms of uh, there's you know it's a poor country. Yeah, it's a shithole. It's one of his. <laughs> yeah, it's a shithole. <laughs> what country is she from right, again? Alex, I'll be listening. Slovenia. Yeah. Oh, okay. Slovenia. Let's say I'll say goodbye to Bree. Thank you, Bree. We appreciate your maybe, call. Maybe maybe Trump thinks it's Pennsylvania. Uh, it's what? <laughs> no, Transylvania. Transylvania. <laughs> You no, know, maybe Trump going? thinks it's Pennsylvania. You know, it could be. Yeah, it could be. Pennsylvania. It, it could be. Yeah. <laughs> let me see. Let me let me get Mark up there. There we go. I'm trying to reapportion the picture. Hold on. Well, what happened here? How do I, how do I get back? Oh boy. Let me see here. Oh, there we go. There we go. Okay. Uh, uh, yes. Yes, Jeff. I, I think Trump is, is kind of a guy who personally likes to, to write stories. And I think he likes horror stories. And that's, he thinks that, that makes his life look better. Yeah. And that's the way he easily changes the story right. in the same day, easily. Because the more that he does that, the more people are are what I call confused, and 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 he likes to confuse everybody. Yeah, uh, he really does. And I, I'm always so surprised when I see on on news that they're kind of justifying that. Well, maybe he really didn't say that. I said, no, he did say that. He said it on purpose, and he. And he made it up. Yep. And it's bullshit. He likes to rabble rouse. He sure does. Yeah. 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 But I mean, it, it's it's the politics of cruelty. Uh, and and, and I, I find that that's the, well, let me just, I'm trying to get Brit some uh, slap back here. Are we better now? Yeah. Uh, uh, it's, the pro, it, it, it's the politics of cruelty. I mean, don't don't you want people to? Boy, I'm getting slapped back again. Hold on, don't you want people to to not have to worry that they're going to be sent back to a country that they only lived in for three months of their life, you know, uh, and that they know nothing about? I mean, can you imagine being from some country and you were brought here when you were six months old 
and all you know here now, and you're in your 20s now, all you know is being brought up in the United States. You speak perfect English. Your friends are all here. Your jobs are here. You got your degree in school from here or whatever, and now you have to go back to a country you don't even know that you've never been to? That's terrible. And yeah. speak the language. And speak the language, yeah, exactly. Unless your parents taught you the language. Yeah, they probably know the language because their parents probably didn't speak English very well. That's not the, the issue. I would say that it's but they're not from there. They're but, American now. They were their whole life here. Yes. And and these people, many, most of them are contributing. You know, he likes to paint immigrants with all all with one brush. You know, like, you know, why? Why do we want those those fucking uh, Africans from uh, uh, from that shithole? You know? I mean, isn't that the very definition of racist? I yes. don't know that all it's, Jews I, I, and cheap, no, all I blacks are lazy, I, I, all Italians are well, in the mafia. You, you know, blah 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 blah. Uh, if if you said that uh, Italy was a shithole, would you suddenly be against Italians? You know, I don't know that the shithole remark makes him a racist. What makes him a racist is that he shows he has no empathy for anybody other than white people. No, the shithole remark makes him a racist because he followed it up with saying. Norwegians would be okay. Yeah. Well, you know why I mean, he said that? Because I mean, the day before the, the, on, the day know? before the Norwegian prime minister had visited the White House, so that was the first country that came no, to mind. No, no, I don't. No, I don't buy that. I mean, that had nothing to do with the Charlottesville Ku Klux Klan rally. There was no Norwegians there, you know. Yeah. But it was, but it was George W. Bush that said. These people, and this was like 2002 or 2004, said these people are, are, are here because they're doing jobs Americans won't do. He made the, the Mexican and Central American immigrant workforce a positive thing because they were helping our economy. And then once the economy went south, all of a sudden, those same people said, yeah, our problems are because of those people. Uh, yeah, they had nothing to do with it. They were innocent victims, yeah. and we still are. Uh, Mike, exactly, exactly what he said. The Mexicans, when they came over here under the uh, what was it, the Bracero program, they picked the fruits and everything. You think some white guys gonna get out there, some kids get out there and pick uh, tomatoes out there, lug them, uh, lug boxes? Hell no. Yeah, they say, oh, that's too much work. But the Mexicans who came over under that program, the Bracero program, who picked the fruits, you know, the vegetables, they want the work and make the money and go home with the money. By the way, S I I I I hold on a second. Uh, SG keeps Skyping me with messages. I don't know who SG is. Do we know an SG at all? He's, he's called before. He has? Well, call yeah. now, but don't send me these messages because they keep popping up and they're very annoying. Okay, uh, just you know, you've got Skype. C give us a call and and join the conversation, uh, rather than constantly annoying us with uh, endless uh, endless messages. Um, um, Mark, I I yes, you have your hand up. You know, it's funny. The very city that Trump calls his home. Mm -hmm. The very buildings, the skyscrapers, were built on the backs of immigrants. That's right. That's true. That's for sure. Yeah, you know, and it's so ridiculous what he's doing, and that's why I I can't take this guy. I never took him seriously. Yeah. You got to take him seriously as a heart attack now, unfortunately. Um. You 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 know, just when those next elections come up, just vote. Yeah. Well, I mean, the thing is that when you talk about New York City, and you know this for your but through your own experience, I'm sure so does Jeff. If any city could be named an immigrant city, it would be New yeah. York City. Yeah, I mean, well, well, what's a, that on the uh, Statue of Liberty? Well, something called the Modern well, Prometheus. You, you, know, you, know? you know what something are, some people argue about that poem, which is called, I think, the Modern Prometheus, I think. Yeah. is, And I can't remember who wrote it, but, it, but they say, well, it wasn't, it's not in the Constitution. You know, well, but, but it's but it's a beautiful it's a poem. It, it's, it's a beautiful a poem, for God's because sakes. here was this harbor that really had more immigrants 
coming into the United States than any other harbor in the United States. I mean, that's why we had Ellis Island, it was precisely that reason to process them. Although, if you were rich, you didn't have to go through Ellis Island. They just took you to New York City, you got off there, paid a few bucks, and you were on your way. But nevertheless, my, my grandparent, my grandmother, and my uh, uncle, and uh, was it my father? No, yes, I think it was my father. Yes, my father came through Ellis Island. Uh, and then they went on to California to meet up with my grandfather, who came in, I believe, through the West Coast and wow. had established home, a home there and so on and took the other brother with him. So they came in through Ellis Island. So I'm, I'm, I'm an Ellis Island refugee, okay? And uh, uh, this was a, a city of immigrants, a good example. Go watch The Godfather, good example of immigrants in New York City. Not, not the ones you would want to have something to do with, but nevertheless, that was yet another immigrant tale. And so for a guy from a city with so, such an immigrant population, including his own grandfather, who I believe was German, and it was the Drumpf family, his, his grandfather, by the way, went to the Yukon and built hotels and things like that to, to take care of people during the gold rush. That's how he made his money. And then he eventually came back and went to New York, and that's where the whole Drumpf slash Trump family started to, uh, started to grow up. Uh, but, I mean, yes, he more than anybody else should know about immigrants and feel uh, uh, an affinity for immigrants because his family were immigrants. All of our families were, unless you're the, one of the original families, yeah. the Mayflower or whatever. We're all immigrants. Yes, but he, exactly. but some no, of us, I, some I, of us, no. some of us may be five, six generations down. Trump is like a third generation immigrant. You know, I mean, you go back to his grandfather, and you got an immigrant, a guy who could barely speak English. Yes, Mike. Yeah, same with the same with you know, my mom. She's third generation. Because my his, her mom and dad came over from the old country, from uh, then Hungary, you know, Austrian Empire. But still, when they came over, yeah, they came through Ellis Island. My grandmother met her brother in San Francisco. And they went to school to learn English and learn a little bit about what they call it. Um, what's the word for it? Help me, guys. Big what? <laughs> You know, when you have to pass, the, you have to learn about the Constitution and all that. Oh, citizenship. 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 Yeah. You had to pass a citizenship test. So you had to go to school to learn English, and you had to go to take that test also, learn the test. Yeah. He doesn't realize all the United States, all of us are from immigrant families. Yeah, all of us. One part of the year, all of us from different parts of the world. Yeah, yeah, but some of us are immigrants so far back that we're, we're they're diluted. I mean, they're not really uh, immigrants as much. My, I mean, for instance, yeah, I'm, now, I'm, se I'm, se I'm, se I'm second generation immigrant. My father came from Germany. My mother, however, uh, came from the Bronx, but her parents came from Europe, so she was second generation. I'm third generation by her, second generation by my father. I think I'm third generation. If you're like all of us in this room here, white people from Europe, Europe European countries, mm -hmm. why would you have come here years ago? You would have been the bottom of the barrel. You wouldn't, have been, the, you wouldn't have been the best of the best. You would have been the worst of the worst looking for some chance. The streets okay. are paved with gold, right? That was the big thing, right? The yeah, exactly. The well, people people can't, people, people, our, our ancestors were desperate people. People can't they, well, people, people, roll the yeah. dice. People can't and when just, they got here, they were proud to be here, and they were very patriotic people. Well, let me say one other thing, though. A lot of people came here because there were, this was a land of opportunity. Now, let's let's not but make they it. They didn't know that. Well, they did not know that. Let, Alex. Let's not let America off on that because, you know, Trump would say, see, we're a land of opportunity. Well, we're not anymore to begin with. And back then, we weren't really as much a land of opportunity because we offered opportunity, but because we were a blank slate. And, you know, and, and the writing had to be put on that slate. And people would come here and they could forge a future for themselves because there were things that needed to be done 
to make this a nation. Uh, you know, and when when they well, came here, you know, their life was terrible. When we moved west, they needed people to build the railroads, you know, and there were people needed to build hotels by the railroads, and the people like the Drump, uh, like Drump, who went to the, the Yukon to take care of that. It was a more of a blank slate. Today, it isn't a blank slate. This is not the country I would suggest people come to for a better future. Okay, unless you're maybe from some place that's got cholera you know? Alabama or Alabama yeah Jeff if anybody ever gets a chance to go to New York there's a temp uh, there's a museum the tenement there right yeah yeah tenement museum and it's a, and it tells you the story about how people came here and, and you know the Germans came first and then the Irish came and then the Jews and then the Italians and you know it it goes through this whole thing. But it also <clears throat> shows how people lived at that time and why they came here. You know who was here and before I'll, a lot of them, Jeff? Yeah. Go, yeah go Black ahead. people. Yeah. Because they were dragged over here, and they were dragged over here by people who they were came Dutch, Dutch they? and French, French and British. Right. You know. The, the Jews came later, the, uh, you know, uh, the Irish came later, and so on. So, you know. Well, the one thing that I uh, heard that during that, uh, that museum is that uh, they said that somewhere around the 1800s, 80% of the people in the United States lived in New York at that time. And that was a huge, huge manufacturing facility. Right. And... And, of course, one of the things that they were making were clothes. And, yeah. and people would have factories, what you, what you might call a factory, in their own house with six kids at yeah. the same time. But it was also a time where you could forge a future for yourself. Yeah. You know. The jobs are gone because nothing is nothing is done by hand any anymore. So, you know, you could get a job for money and get paid decently and work in a factory and do something small. Today, it, it's a global economy and all that stuff sh is gone. And even when they bring the factories back, there aren't that many jobs in them. So if you come here as an immigrant, what are you going to do if you don't have any education? It isn't like the old days. Very difficult to, uh, you know, you're going to wind up opening a bodega. Right, you're going to wind up maybe a little uh, uh, ethnic restaurant or something like that. But real, what are what are your other options with like older people who come? Like my great grandfather helped build the subways in New York. My father's father helped build those. How would you? Do, there's none of that. Today, my question right? is going to be, you know, we, in recent years we've seen some businesses come up that did not exist. Uh, even within, uh, like, I'm older, and of course they didn't exist when I was a kid. I mean, the big companies were the RCAs and the Fords and so on. Uh, but even if you're if you're 30 or 40, uh, there was no Amazon, there was no Facebook, there was no uh, what? What's the what, Apple? Uh, Apple. There um, was no internet. Right. Uh, what I'm saying is all these companies have been developed in recent years, and I'm questioning whether that kind of company, those kind of, whether we're going to see new big monolithic companies being created or whether that day has passed. And really, we're going to be a country of maybe three major companies that run everything. Well, did you hear what, I am, what happened with, that, with Facebook? Uh, um, yeah. What's his name? Uh, what's his name? Facebook's uh, uh, Zucker? Zucker, Zuckerberg. 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 Yeah. He apologized for Facebook the other day. Yeah, he said he, he is saying that he's trying to do everything possible because he doesn't want his kids to say, "Gee, look what my father created." Well, I think what he's saying is he wants to change the nature of Facebook. He wants to maybe uh, he. I think he wants to pare it down so that it's more communication between people than a place for tons of advertising and people trying to sell stuff by their tweet by their facebook ads uh, their facebook uh, uh posts and things like that I, I don't think he wants to do away with the advertising but i think for instance that will be good for like facebook live i think that's one of the things he would embrace well he's yeah. talking about revamping the news feed 
and taking away the adver- like not he wants to change the balance of ads to personal communications in the news feed and i think i think he believes that that might be how the russians were able to uh, have all of this crap come up in news feeds that people read and didn't believe that all the stuff that was or did believe yeah. that was uh, all the propaganda coming from the russians and stuff but he's so, quite frankly he doesn't fix all he, that. He, quite frankly he's not using facebook as much as he used to is what he said uh, and I don't think he wants to kill the business. I think he, yeah. I think he wants to save the business from ruining uh, this country. Right. Okay. And 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 to that extent, you've got to hand it to Zuckerberg that he comes yes. to that realization. And, and his he, stock went down fourteen percent after he announced that. I'm sure it did. Mm-hmm. And yeah. how much money is that not in his pocket now? <laughs> you, you know how many billions you of dollars that. you got to respect it and i think he's right i think we have to reassess what we're doing with social media it's it's uh, it's dumbing down america and i'm not saying this is an old guy i'm saying it's dumbing down america because people if if you see it on facebook you believe it and and nobody's right. vetting what goes on facebook any of us could write a lie on facebook hell most nights phil is here saying what he saw on the internet and half of it is like you know not real by the way the other night he said uh, uh, everybody should have a drink right now he said there were three <laughs> porn actresses who all died recently because they were murdered you remember that Call? yeah yeah it turns out none of them were murdered uh, uh two of them committed suicide and one of them overdosed on pills okay so everybody have a drink in fact have three of them Yes. Uh, there you go. Yes, Mark. Phil. Yes, Mark. Mark. Yeah, I, I just uh, going back to what you you asked a minute oh, ago. Uh, yeah, Mark with a K. I should say. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Um, we, can, we can't go back to where we, where we were before. I lived in the Upper Peninsula of Michigan for 15 years, and that's kind of like a remote area that's 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 that was that was inhabited in the 1800s by people from Finland, Sweden, and England, and in Italy, who came here to go work in the mines. Yeah. Those mines, I mean, all that required was was the, the ability and the willingness to do physical labor. Yeah. Okay? Yes, Mike. That's not going to happen again. Yes, Mike. That's never, that's did, never going to happen again. Did the Welch, there was a lot of Welch people from uh, Wales okay. came over? I, I'm, I'm mining the Welsh with the English. Yeah. They call them the Cornish. The Cornish. The Cornish. Yeah. Exactly. I know there's a lot of people from but don't, but, Wales. But Mike, those those places, those mines are closed now. Yeah. That's not yeah. going to happen again. Well, they're not going to do that again. Oh, by the way, no. by, by the way, now we have uh, uh, Rob is taking us on a tour of his new mansion. I'm going to show you the oh, theater. Oh, wait a minute. Let me let me let me blow this up for the rest of the audience so they can see it. Uh yeah wow, that's wow. that's terrific. A- and this you, is the the seating area. Yeah, I've got I got a love seat and I got a table and a theater seat next to it. Yeah, oh good. And then back here is all the equipment behind here. Where's the popcorn machine? I'm getting yeah. one. I'm getting one. <laughs> and the this is all, hot dog uh, cooker. There's all the equipment in the rack here. Yeah, how's the wow. sound in there? You got good sound. Sounds awesome. Yeah. That's all my equipment back here. It's all remote controlled from from this iPad that I keep next to me. I just use it for this purpose, so it fires everything up. Uh-huh. And here's my sub. Can you uh, see yeah. the sub? Show us the yeah. projector. Where, where's the projector? Uh, wait a minute. Oh, there it is. Well, you barely see it. There, uh, we there go. it is. There it is. Yeah, that's uh, what I thought you had, Rob. Yeah, it's the it's the twenty five fifty. There's the sub. This thing is just that's huge. like I don't know if you could see it. I can't tell. There it is. Yeah, yeah. that is a huge subwoofer. Yeah. What do you want to do? Change the tectonic plates with that? Yeah. Damn. What's that? What do you want to do? Change the tectonic plates with that? That's a huge <laughs> subwoofer. How much? How much did the uh, screen run you? I think I paid. So for the projector. And the screen together, I paid. I want to say somewhere in the range of about eight fifty. I think. Wow, wow, 
Yeah. Uh, and how does that so, screen come when it's delivered? It's not delivered that size, is it? You got to put it together. You got to put it together. Yeah. So it comes, all the black pieces are all come. You stretch the screen over um, and uh, you build it on the floor, you know, and then you hang it. Oh. Yeah. So, and, and they're not expensive. I'm, I'm telling you, you know, and, and what this room, this room is just like a movie theater yeah. and it's, but it's a home, you know what I mean? It's nice and comfortable. It's, well, that's uh, about as big, that's, in here. that's about as big as my guest room, at least in throw. Uh, and but, there's no windows. Yeah. Just, just the two doors that yeah. lead into it. Now, and there's your pool, pool table. table. There's pool the, table. there's the new pool table you just bought. Yeah. It, this is my rec room area here. I got a bar. Well, and is that all in the basement? This is all in the lower level. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. wow. And, and how how many levels do you have? You have a you have a main floor, Three. and then you have Three a, 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 wow. And how There's many? There's TV how, that I hung. How many bedrooms do you have? Four. Four bedrooms. Yeah. I'm moving in. <laughs> That's yeah. my uh, old Panasonic. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. So, yeah. I'm I'm loving this. This is my favorite room in the house now. I, I imagine because you yeah. you've got you know you literally can uh, have all your entertainment in the basement and get away with it. That's Absolutely, terrific. they don't have to worry about noise. I don't have to worry about any of you know bothering neighbors or anything like that. Wow. Yeah. Let me put everybody back on the screen here. So is, it, is your is your mechanical level on that same level? Yes. Okay. You don't even hear it. Yeah. It's behind the door. And I, saw the, and I saw the flag. Have you got a relative that died in the military? My dad. Yeah, my dad. Really? He didn't die in the military, but, but you know, he was in the military, and that's the flag that draped his, his casket. So if you actually, if you actually put a 4K projector in there and got a 4K machine to play it with or whatever... You'd really have movie theater quality wow. picture. Absolutely. <laughs> and you could just, you hang out and you just lay around. You put a blanket on if you want. We hang out. I just, I absolutely, I am, in, I am so, it's the best money I've spent in this house so far. And I still need to put a whole house humidifier in here. It's going to cost me two grand. I put in, I put in a, a, a water, our water is horrible here. I put a water treatment system here that cost me about 3600 And so I decided that's it. I'm stopping for stuff that ain't fun for a while. Yeah. And I'm going to put in a pool table and I'm going to make sure I get that theater done because, you know, I just want to spend a little money that on stuff that I like and then I'll go back to doing the other stuff, you know, because there's other things that have to be done here. But yeah, um, there's right. a full bathroom down here with a shower if you need, you know, so this could be turned into an apartment, really. Yeah. Wow. That, you know, that's really nice. I'm I'm jealous, you know, because that's movie what... night. You can have movie night over here. Anybody that wants to come. <laughs> Yeah, but I mean, you can. But you don't have hot dogs, though. No, and right in this corner, right now, where there is a cat, a kitty litter. Uh, see the kitty litter thing on the floor? Yeah, that's going to be a, where the popcorn machine goes. That's right outside the. And theater. what are you doing? Getting rid of the kitties? No, I'm just going to move that. That's all. <laughs> suppose kitties they decide. Staying, but... Suppose they decide to try and shit in the popcorn machine, though. <laughs> <laughs> I'll go in it. <laughs> and it's right by the kitty treadmill. Well, no, that's but, a stairmaster. Yeah, <laughs> well, but but you can uh, you know uh, uh, the thing is if you can get 4K in there, you will yeah. have the same quality they have in movie theaters because movie theaters are all 4K. What uh, is 4K? Huh? What is what is 4K? 4K uh, is is the amount of of pixels really uh, that right. the the, uh, the richness of the pixels uh, it. it in other words, right now we have 1040 by what? Uh, t uh, 10, 1080 by... Uh, 1280. No, not by, by 1280. It's by something else. 720. It, it, no, it's higher than that. It's like 18-something, 19-something. 1920? Yeah, 1920. By, so yeah, yeah, that's it, 1920 by 1980. 19, yeah, where this well, goes what, up. I mean, what do I do? Oh, oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Where this, the resolution on this is 26. Uh, yeah, four times. Something, you know. So, am I, I felt, is, I am I the novice person going to be able to tell what that what that is? I'll tell you something. Yeah. Even if I show you a normal 
1080p picture on my high, uh, 4K set, you will have a hard time telling it isn't 4K because the uh, the uh, what they what do they call it the upgrading or the uh, upscaling is yeah, is terrific. I mean, I was amazed. Uh, sometimes it's even hard to tell the difference between a 1080p picture and a 4K picture coming from say. Uh, 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 what do you call it? Uh, oh man, Netflix. Sorry. Netflix. Sorry. Uh, it it's sometimes hard to tell the difference because because mm -hmm. the upscaling is so good. But I got to tell you, I mean, I I finally had to put a 4K in there because I was watching a lot of TV in there and I wanted a good, really good picture. Do you have a 4K yet, uh, Mark? Uh, Mark uh, Thorner? No. Nope. No, not yet. I couldn't. I couldn't justify the cost right now for the projector because I mean, well, this thing looks so great, and there's not enough content out there for me to spend the extra money on that yet. Um, but I think, and and also, once there's enough content, the projectors are going to drop in price just the way right, the, exactly. the 1080p ones. And, did. and let me tell Mark Thorner that if you haven't bought it yet, they're down to about 550. And if you're still, well, no, no, if you're still waiting for them to get this. cheaper, I'm sure you'll be able to get yourself 55 inch 4K for like 350 bucks soon. Yeah, you know? yeah. Um, let's go in there. Yeah. Rob, you have to change your sound if you change that over. What do you mean? Your uh, your audio when you change your projector? No, no. All I do is take that projector down, put up the new one, make the uh -huh. the HDMI connection, and you're done. Yeah, it's all everything oh, is controlled okay. from the. I have a I have a I I bought the Harmony uh, hub, and I didn't have to do anything. I turned it on. It discovered all the equipment. It set everything up. I sit there and I just press the button, and it goes from Apple TV to Direct TV to Roku, just one button on the uh, on the on the the iPad. Yeah, well, I, I, I didn't have to. You didn't have to know the, anything. The, the, you just the, the turn big, on. The big problem I've been having is I have a, a you know a, a, the newest of my H of my uh, uh, PCs in the uh, guest room, and somehow I can't get it to connect perfectly with all the other computers because I I, I I am at a loss for trying to set up Windows networking. You know. Yeah. It, it, it's not as easy, but I'll tell you what I did find out. I got the sound bar, the new sound bar, and you know you have to pair it to the subwoofer. You don't pair it anymore. It automatically pairs. You know, you don't have to Incredible. do a damn thing. Wow. And I've got my yeah. wireless surround sound speakers coming tomorrow, so. But anyway, this is all about technology, folks, and and I'm so happy for you because that looks like a to begin with, yeah. it looks like a beautiful home. Okay. Thank you. Uh, and I'm sure you're very happy with it. And it looks like he got moved in. The, here comes the cat. The old one. Saying, where's the popcorn machine so I can shit in it? <laughs> yeah. You know, uh, but that, that's that the same cat that we had before. Yeah. That's yeah. the 14-year-old one, the little one, uh, yeah. the, the two-year-old one or one-and-a-half-year-old one. I don't know where he is. He came down here first, but he disappeared. Oh. Uh. Well, hey, listen, everybody. Gosh, it's been great having you here tonight. Nice nice discussion, a little bit of everything, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. Always good to see you, Mark Thorner. And, you know, it, it's funny, but as, I don't know, Skype must have gotten better because everybody's picture is so clear yeah. now, except for Mike. And uh, Mark's a little dull, but he hasn't got any lights on in there. He'd probably be pretty good, too. It's just amazing the kind of, uh, I've blown this up on big TV sets, and you guys, it looks great, you know. Uh, listen, thanks, Mike, for being here tonight. Mark, uh, do it more often. We love having you here. Uh, Mark Green, very special person, and we appreciate your indulgence with us. Uh, Jeff, thank you. And thanks, of course, to Rob Alfano. Uh, are you working on that project you told me about? Not yet. Yeah. Uh, are we four or five years? It's four years, right? Four years. Wait a minute. Okay. I just wanted minute. to make when sure. We started... Well, we started 19, uh, 2014. We started with the audio program, right? So that uh, what is Gabnet? Well, yeah, exactly. Yeah, before that, it was the TV thing, and we called it the Great American Podcast. I think was the, yeah. was the thing. Hey, everybody! Uh, it's time to say goodbye. Hey, everybody, give them a big wave goodbye so they can uh, see you there, and uh, we'll see you probably, hopefully, on Tuesday. Bye. Okay, that's it uh, for our little gathering here uh, this evening. 
uh, uh, there's more coming up next. Uh, by the way, I, I got a note from, uh, uh, from Damien who said that we fail at the end of our shows to mention Damien and his, his fine program called the, Inter the Exchange, which goes on at 9.30 Eastern Standard Time uh, every night right here before our show. And I don't mention it because I just think about, you know, the next shows that are coming up and plugging the shows that are coming up. And he does get forgotten. And I want you to remind yourselves that uh, Damien's show does exist. And it exists and is a, a, a nice little show, man. I love listening to it before I go on the air every night. And you should give it a good listen. And I will remember to plug him every night. So he'll be here again Tuesday at 930 Eastern time. In the meantime, next is Jack and Amy. They're here with the intersection. And then at uh, 1 o'clock in the morning, if they're not all sick, a brand new edition of Connections. I'm Alex Bennett. I'll see you again Tuesday. Same time, same station in life. And in the meantime, if you see her, tell her I love her, okay? Bye. Bye.